Hey guys, Mission of Game here. Um, I've been playing healer my whole time doing New World, and I'm currently level 57. So I just thought I should share my build. So I'll just start with the left side of the skill tree. You definitely want to start with Absolved to make your light and heavy attacks cost no mana. And then you want to go with Blissful Touch to make your light attacks heal. So you want to be hitting your teammates a lot. It does an AoE, so you can just shoot the ground at your teammates' feet and it'll heal one or multiple people. Then you want to go with Sacred Ground. Uh, this will be one of your best heals as it's an AoE. It heals for quite a bit, lasts for quite a long time and once you get it to the max um, blessed perk you it also increases all healing they receive by 50% so that's potions and also your other heals. Next on the perks you want Revitalize. It makes your light attacks reduce all your cooldowns by 5% which you definitely want as you want to be healing your teammates as often as possible. You also want Desperate Speed, as it does the same thing, reducing your cooldowns. And then lastly, on the left side, is Sacred Protection. Uh, just increase all healings by 5% to people in your party. On the right side, you've got Orbital Protection. Uh, you basically shoot that at your teammates. It gives them Fortify to reduce damage by 10%, and also heals them when you upgrade its perks, which is the Protector's Blessing. And you definitely want to upgrade that all the way to Aegis, as you want that to hit multiple teammates, not just one. Then you want Lights and Braces. This heal is almost instant, and it also has the shortest cooldown of the heal abilities. You want to level this one up to the Connection perk, so that it doesn't cost as much mana. Looking at the individual perks on the right side, you want Bend Light, as you want to be dodging every 5 seconds to increase your healing by 20%. You want Protective Strength, so that you can heal for an extra 10%, basically all the time, because you'll always have some type of food buff or even just a fortify bus on you. Lastly, Spirits United to increase your mana regen. It's not required, but increased mana means more healing for your teammates. And then Glowing Focus uh, to increase your buffs to make them last longer, which is your healing buffs and also your protection buffs. You could trade one of the last two ones for Intensify, uh, which basically increases your healing by up to 30%, but I don't really generally use the heavy attacks because I'm always using the Blissful Touch light attacks to continuously heal my team. So this build is basically an all-round build, uh, which is good for dungeons and just for general PvE and PvP. However, for wars especially, you want to probably go with more AoE heals because you're trying to heal everyone, not just your team. So you'd want to go with uh, Beacon as well in there. So you trade out Lights and Brace, put in Beacon, and that way you can also give them increased run speed with the last perk in it, Speed of Light which gives your team a huge advantage as they can all run 20% faster to each of the objectives. Yeah, mix and match what I've mentioned and hopefully you find something that works for you. But good luck and have fun.